Welcome to the Chan Academy. Today, we're going to talk about imports. In a moment, I'm going to walk you through the process of adding a new import to your Chanable project. For this course, you will be provided with an example XML file and a Google spreadsheet. You can find the link to both in the description of the assignment. Here, you have an overview of all your projects. For now, we'll go to this example shop. Until now, we have no items imported. Let's change that. You see that you have multiple options, XML, CSV, TXT, Google Sheets, and the ability to choose new import connection. This will lead you to the possibility to connect your e-commerce platform with Chanable via a plugin if supported. We will work with an XML import. Simply click on XML, paste your link, and click Continue. This will then bring you to the edit mapping stage of the import. On the left-hand side, you see the fields that were provided to us through the XML. And on the right, we have all the corresponding internal fields used by Chanable. Some fields will be recognized by Chanable. These fields will automatically be mapped to the relevant internal field, such as brand to brand. Other fields will be created as custom fields in Chanable. It is also possible to add a new field to your import, which will be added to each item with an empty value. You can add a new field by clicking the Setup Project Field section, scroll to the bottom, and click on Add Project Field. A new screen will open up, and here you can insert the name of the field and the type of the field. In this example, we are going to add the field Condition. With Condition, I can state that my items are new. How to do this will be discussed in the Rules course. And don't forget to save your import. In the Project Field section, you will see that a new column called Used in Import appears. This column is useful to see at a glance which project fields are used in imports, where they are used, and which ones are not used. If there are fields that are not used at all, you will have an option to directly delete them in the Edit Mapping menu. For now, let's give it a try in your training account. Time for you to import your XML file. You can find the link in the next assignment. Good luck.